this video I'm going to show you how to implement MetaMask uh, with React Native Project. So I've shown how to do it with Wallet Connect, but this is for the people that want to do it specifically with MetaMask. And this they have docs for how to implement it in React Native, but uh, it works for React Native CLI, and it's pretty hard to set it up in Expo. I haven't seen any blog or tutorial on how to do it with this SDK so I thought let's let's do a tutorial on this so navigate to the command line and do sudo mpx create create expo app dash t expo template blank type script and MetaMask Wallet Auth is the app I will give to this and while this is installing uh, we'll need to use EAS if you don't know what it is it's Expo Application Services to create a production build uh, for a specific device whether that be Android or iOS simulator because if we just install these packages and put it in our code it won't work right away with Expo so yeah we have to use EAS if you don't have EAS installed just do do it like navigate to the command line and do uh, npm install dash dash global EAS CLI and this will install CLI as a global dependency and then you'll be able to do this to follow the deployment part and also uh, when you install EAS it might prompt you might throw an error as I said which says you are not log logged in so do EAS login just to log in and also if you want to deploy on iOS you have to have Apple developer accounts and if you don't have that and want to deploy to an iOS and Apple store you you first have to create that so navigate to the created folder and open the editor okay now we are in the editor and since I'm on the Mac OS it will throw an error if I don't do this command which allows us to create new files and update the already existing ones and next after that we want to install npm at metamask slash sdk and since if if you are using you can check in your package json uh, react native for me it's 0.72.4 if you are using uh, version 72 or above you will have to add legacy peer depths if you don't it will throw an error because this SDK is currently using version 0.71 so we just want to add legacy peer depths and after that one we'll also have another install again for this this app also so I could open a, I could open up a new command line and do sudo and here also you want to do legacy peer depths Uh, and on this command line the last package we need is npm install expo slash metro config and this is required to extend on in our metro config.js so expo metro config yeah, and also here do legacy peer depths okay now 
when we have everything installed we want to create npm rc and here also paste legacy peer depths is equal to true so when it builds on android and ios it knows to enable this option okay and now let's create metro dot config dot js and we want to extend on the default configuration so do const is equal require at expo metro config and we want to take from this get default config and here const default config is equal to get the default config and their name and here we want to export module export is equal to default config and resolver is equal to default config dot resolver and we want to add extra node modules which is equal to default config dot resolver dot extra node modules and require node libs react native okay and that's it for the metro config now we want to create a folder called web3 which will be for metamask so create file metamask.ts and we want to here import metamask sdk from metamask sdk we want to import linking from react native so we can access the metamask app and we want to import background timer from react native background timer and we want to export const ma mm sdk is equal to new metamask sdk and here config open deep link you want to have a function linking open URL link you want to have timer which will be background timer and we want to have that meta metadata and here name will be my app <coughs> you can put the name of your app and here, here URL I'll put HTTPS mydab.com okay now when we're done with that part we want to navigate to the app.tsx and here I'll I will remove you know I'll just leave these imports and I will import on top to packages that are required for this to work so no libs react native slash globals and import react native url polyfill slash auto and we also want to import metamask sdk from the web3 folder that we created just now and here we want to have button so this button will have title of sign up with metamask and on press will be on press function that we will create right now we also need to import the button component from react native okay const on press is equal to await async and it is async function now first we want to do is connect so we want to this will pop up the metamask window on our mobile phone and we'll do const ethereum is equal to await ethereum 
dot request actually first we have to create assign ethereum to value of metamask sdk get provider so now it will be able to get provider and here it will say accounts and request there will be method just like you do with metamask uh, web browser extension the same way you interact with it you'll interact with it here and CLG accounts okay that should be it when it comes to our code and now navigate navigate back to the command line and now what we want to do is sudo if you're on a Mac you EAS build profile development platform if you want to build on all platform which I will do is all if you want to build on Android it's just Android and if you want to build iOS it's on iOS but don't forget to create the devel Apple developer account if you don't have it already and probably would be good uh, idea to add your mobile device to it so you don't have issues while we run this command later okay before we run this command i accidentally added extra node modules here and it shouldn't be there so just remove them and we are good to go so platform all it will if if it asks to install expo dev client on here just say yes here do you want to generate new keys android key store yes okay it's uploading to eas uh would you like your what would you like your ios bundle identifier to be so for me it will be this one but if you if you try to use this one it will throw an error because it already exists so it will be good for you to choose another name do you want to log in with your apple account yes apple id it's my apple id yes uh if you are not logged in with eas if you don't have an apple account connected it will ask you to, to log in so just log in there uh team name yeah i already have the distribution certificate for you it will just ask you do you want to create one select the device name i already connected my iphone to the to the apple developer account so it's listed here if you don't have it already just add it uh, go to apple developer account and go to devices and connect your iphone or do sudo eas device create so this command device create and you will be able to add device through this way okay um yeah, I'm, I'm going to choose my iPhone. It's creating the version. Okay. Do you like to add push notifications to your project? For me, it's no. If you are using push notifications, just say yes. Okay, it's uploaded to EAS, Android build, and iOS build. And also here you can see waiting to enter the queue because concurrency limit is reached since i built multiple times yesterday but uh yeah for eas you do have a limit i'm not sure how much i think 30 builds a month or is it 30 projects a month i'm not sure but you can do you can go over that with eas build local so yeah this is the one command ES build platform Android local and ES build platform iOS local. I suggest for you to read this page first since it does require some more config. For example, Node.js, you have to have an installed fast lane for iOS and Kaka pods for iOS and Android SDK and NDK for Android. Also for Android, you have to have installed Java and some other stuff so it will throw an error but yeah if you don't want to deal with this concurrency 
limit issues i suggest with with installing with going on lo with local build but yeah i'm i'm going to wait for this to end and i'm going to come back when that's done okay now when it generated a build the first one is for android and the second one is for ios so click uh scan scan it with a camera the second one and click open in itunes and it will ask uh, api expo they would like to install metamask wallet auth and click install and now you can see here that is installing and just open it and on your command line do uh, open the second command line and just do sudo mpx expo start dash dash dev client and now if you open it again actually now go to your camera again and scan the code that was generated using this and click allow and there was an error just click reload and it's bundling it's almost done and okay continue and now you can see we have this button and click sign up with metamask my metamask has face id authentication and just connecting and click connect and yeah we are there that is it we are signed up with metamask yeah you, you can see you should see log on your on your command line that is running expo so yeah that's it for that was it for ios simulator actually it was physical device and you can see that here it logged the address from metamask and for android is the same process so just scan the first qr code and it will open it on the android and yeah that's it and for ios and yeah for android also if it asks you are you sure you want to install this app just say yes because it might ask some questions you know because the source of the app isn't really verified but yeah just uh, just go with allow and yes um also on ios it might ask you to it might say this app is not verified so you have to go in developer mode and turn turn it on and restart the device so you are able to run it okay and here it asks install and run on android build on, on an emulator will say no and yeah that's it so yeah for i uh, for the android device it works in the same way it works on ios uh, if you have any issues just go with eas so eas expo eas docs eas build and here you'll see everything you know it might be for app permissions you might have to install some certificates or something like that on the, the physical device just follow the guides and yeah that's it uh, for setting up metamask on in react native with expo